I figured this would be a fitting picture to show everyone. It just happens to be the Bing picture of the week or whatever. Uh, photo credits right there. Just said so I'll get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, that's on Xbox. Whatever. Um, let's start with this. Every now and again, a game or a movie will come out that captures our imagination. Apart from its universe that the creators develop, countless other universes are spawned within everyone's imaginations. Fan fiction, fan art, even homemade videos and such, both animated and live action. And when it's all said and done, everyone decides, you know what, we want to see more. We want to see, we want to see sequels and such. And so, sequels are made. Some even make it to the point of trilogies and other such. And, and all of a sudden, they become blockbuster franchises. This is most notable with series like Star Trek and Star Wars, in the, as far as movies go. Or in series, even series like uh, Halo, with, count, with a number of games, uh, written novels, again, fan fiction, fan art. Everyone has their own little universe and f where they think of these planets in the Halo universe, where great battles between Spartans and UNSC Marines... Uh, battle against the Covenant or the Flood or whatever. And the same is true <clears throat> with the trilogy I am now starting. Mass Effect. Uh, this... Oh, man. Uh, the first time I played this game, it, it captivated me in a way that, like... I never was a big, tr big Star Trek fan. I used to be big on Star Wars, but... I don't know if I just grew out of that or what. I started to get more into the universe of, like, Star Ocean and stuff like that. You know, so, I, I love... Sci-fi is really cool because it's it's infinite. It's an infinite universe. Like, e even if you... Say in a Star Ocean game. Like, you defeat the big bad evil on one planet. Great. It's a really big... It's a really, really big universe. There's all kinds of shit that can be going on. And it's the same with Mass Effect. Except that in Mass Effect, the threat that faces this galaxy is far greater than they could have ever imagined. Uh, much has been said about the series. It seems like expectations were set higher with every game, rightfully so, and I feel for the most part they delivered. Aside from the ending of the third one, but, you know, some people like the ending, although it seems that most don't. Everyone has their own explanations for it. I don't know if there isn't necessarily a right answer at this point. There's there's a couple I believe. One, some I'm willing to give, you know, uh, to put some thought into. But, yeah, if, eventually, sometime this summer, they say they're going to release an extended cut DLC for the ending, which explains a lot of things, so we'll see. Hopefully by the time I get to Mass Effect 3, this DLC will be released. I am not going to ask anybody what it's all about. I'm going to see it for myself so when we, you know, do Mass Effect 3, it will be all on camera and you'll get a genuine reaction from me. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, aren't we? I think it's time to start off. Let's play Mass Effect 1. Where it all started. Now, Mass Effect's system is a fair bit different from 2 and 3. Whereas one has more of an, more of a, I guess more of an RPG feel to it. It's like, you know, it deals with weapons that overheat and like you get tiny bonuses out of time per level instead of like a fairly big upgrade for like a few skills or whatever. It's it's different in its own way. I personally prefer the, the style of the second and third games, but I don't think there's a wrong answer as to which system is better. Because it all comes down to personal preference. Uh, Story-wise, Mass Effect is amazing. But after playing the last, or the second and third one, like, the gameplay seems a little... I don't know for me. I, I guess you could say a number of things about that. You could say that that I don't really appreciate Mass Effect because I, I'm more into the action style of the fighting or whatever. It's like... I, I, I don't know how, how best to explain it, but it, it is what it is. If you like the Mass Effect 1, great. The story is amazing. And ar it's arguably the best story. It, the second and third one tried to go with a more 
movie, like action movie type thing. It kind of works for the most part. It, oh god, I should probably turn this down somewhere. Sorry. Burgundy, do you copy? We're under attack! Incoming transmission from Nogaria. Burgundy! Are you there? guys. Or that guy that we Please! Please! Request denied. And so we see Shepard's darker side. Setting new course for Kalistan. Fuck that shit. Many decisions lie ahead. None of them easy. And that's the big thing for Ma the, the Mass Effect series is built upon. Choice. It's all about choice. Your actions will provoke reactions and will f mold the story as you go along. And that's really, really cool. You can choose to play as a total asshole. You can choose to play as a saint. You can choose to be a bit of in between. You have Paragon and Renegade. Personally, I like to play mostly Paragon with a little bit of Renegade mixed in, where I think it's necessary. I'm the kind of guy that has like a, a vigilante mindset or whatever. Like, I don't want to throw the bad guy in jail. I don't want to give him a chance to get away and do evil things an another day. I'd rather put a bullet in his head and be done with it. Now, I already have a file started because I wanted to get the my face uh, set up properly on here so I didn't have to do it on camera. So we'll go through the whole process of everything except for the, the face construction and whatnot. To Alliance Military Database. Mm hmm. Classified information requested. Pardon me, sorry. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Hooray! Now the default is a guy named John Shepard. And he is a soldier class. Now not many people go with the default, which is kind of the whole point of it to not go with the default. You need to make your shepherd the way you want to. Your background, your military record, your class of choice, your face, everything. We're gonna do enter new ID. We're going to make a custom mail the quick start mail is uh, a soldier. <laughs> We're going to go with custom mail. <clears throat> and because I couldn't think of anything clever to put for the name, I just named him Steve. I'm naming the hero after myself. <laughs> Please log in to access your profile. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they're going to find me in their database. Get me all set up. Verifying. What? What? Warning. Data corruption detected. Oh god, I just a Trojan. Prepare for blue screen. Please reconstruct profile. Okie dokie. Confirm pre service history. Um I usually go with Earthborn. But I'm gonna do spatial this time. Basically, Spacer, uh, you've been moving around from military station all your, from station to station all your life. You've gotten to see a lot of the galaxy, yada, yada, yada. Colonist, um, you run a, co a colony on a far off planet and pirates raided it. You survived, yada, yada. Earthborn, uh, you used to hang out with a bunch of petty jerks and stuff and finally crawled your way out and joined the Marines. Yay. Um, I'm going to do Spacer this time. Confirm psychological profile. <clears throat> Soul survivor, something really bad happened, and you were the only survivor. You had to go through a lot of psychological and physical stress. War hero, you kick some Batarian ass, which is awesome. You got a lot of medals, and you're just awesome. Ruthless, you're known as a cold calculating bastard. You'll do whatever it takes to win. Yeah, we're going with war hero. Confirm military specialization. Now we have soldier. Engine. Soldier is pure physical. Engineer is pure tech. Adept is pure biotics. Infiltrator is a mix of soldier and tech, or engineer. Sentinel is a mix of adept and engineer. And Vanguard is a mix of soldier and adept. Now, before I started this, I asked a number of people what class they'd like me to be throughout the series. It's a choice of engineer, sentinel, and vanguard. 
I love Engineer in Mass Effect 3's multiplayer, so I kind of grew attached to it. Sentinel is how I got my insanity achievement on um, Mass Effect 2, and was had a high survivability rate. I had all kinds of shit I could throw at people, and I had the awesome tech armor ability, which isn't quite as awesome in Mass Effect 3, unfortunately. And then there's Vanguard, my favorite class. It's the, the, the brawler type. It gets up cl- close, it uses shotguns, um, uh, later on it gets biotic charge, which is fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah, so they're kind of the brawlers. Unfortunately, they're probably, with the exception of Mass Effect 1, since they still have more ranged abilities, I guess, um, Mass Effect 2 and 3, they are pretty, I know in Mass Effect 2, they're very tricky to use on a harder difficulty, because you're just taking so much damage, even with the barrier increase you get from biotic charge. Now, when I do Mass Effect 3, I am going to play it on Insanity to get my achievement. Now, with that in mind, I asked everybody what they wanted me to be between Engineer, Sentinel, and Vanguard. And by a vote of almost 4 to 2 to... Well, actually, it was like 4 to 2 to 1. I didn't open it up to too many people, but yeah. 4 to 2 to 1, our winner was... Vanguard! Yay! Um, because I've beaten this before and stuff, I can choose to also be able to use assault rifles or sniper rifles. I'm not using either, but just in case I need to, sniper rifles. Confirm facial identification. Uh, we're just gonna go with confirm appearance. I'm gonna load up my file here in a second anyway. Identification confirmed. Um, we're gonna keep it on veteran because the AI is kind of dumb in this sometimes. Uh, auto level off, subtitles on. Target assist, target assist sucks. And that's for, like, I, I mean, I know I suck at aiming, but I refuse to resort to auto aim and bullshit. Um, auto save on. Okay, yeah. We'll be doing it on hardcore in Mass Effect 2, Insanity in Mass Effect 3. I'd like to also point out one more thing. Um, hmm. I should probably brighten that up a bit, actually, shouldn't I? I don't know. Well, what about Shepard? Spacer lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. Take that, Batarians! He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Yeah, yeah. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect! Holy crap, I'm surprised I got that out in time. This trilogy is dedicated to Darth Raven 2012, who's the one that got me started on LPing in the first place, so hope you enjoy this, buddy. You guys are in for a treat, I think. All this techie stuff around me. All stations secure for transit. What the hell was that next to us? And there's not me. So it's not quite as dynamic since we don't have the actual face reveal, and I don't. Want to hear any comments about how my shepherd looks? I don't give a shit. My shepherd's a little, little ugly. Like he's been in a bar fight or two. He's a fucking vanguard. He likes to punch people in the face. Well, Mass Effect two and three, not so much in one. Yeah. But yeah. Thrusters check. Navigation check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1,500k. Yay for Tech Talk! 1,500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. What the hell is that? 
I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Logical. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? No. That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. And here's where the conversation system comes in place. Usually the upper choice is more of a paragon uh, decision. Bottom is usually renegade. Middle is usually sort of a neutral middle ground. But uh, and Kate, if you're new to the series, and if you're wondering if Joker's voice sounds familiar, you are correct. That is Seth Green. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So you that more voice. Going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Now. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Wah, wah. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Oh, boy. He doesn't sound... I'm happy. He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Ha! Okay, so you saw we got Paragon and experience from that, so yay. Now, but, whoops. Before we do anything else. Uh, this one. Yes, this will be the file we're going with. <sighs> this is going to be a long series of LPs. Yeah, look at that handsome man. Can't really see too good, can you? Oh, well. Eventually. Oh, wait. We can do this. Aren't I handsome? Yeah! Man, he's kind of, a, kind of a... Kind of a burly fellow. Look at the neck on him. And, uh... Yeah. I don't have any scars on him yet. I'll probably add one later, which you can do at some point, because it actually, if you don't change something later on, I don't know if the bug still exists, but it'll screw up something in Mass Effect 3, so, yeah, we have points to distribute. There's lots of skills here, pistols, shotguns, assault training, tactical armor, throw, lift, warp, barrier, these are our biotic abilities, these are our soldier abilities up here. Uh, sniper rifle, that was our bonus ability. Vanguard, Vanguards are trained for close range combat and can use their own abilities to counter enemy biotic attacks. Increases biotic resistance and increases damage with shotguns and pistols. Um, Charm and Intimidate, this is, you actually have to put points into these in this game. This, uh, makes it so that you can get, or uh, access more Paragon options during conversations. And Intimidate makes it so you can access more Renegade options. As a rule, I like to get Charm up before, or Intimidate if you're playing evil. I recommend that you get these up ASAP, because they lead to extra goodies and stuff like that. We can do the other stuff some of the time. Um, the problem with this game, or with Mass Effect 1, is that you can only equip one ability at a time. Uh, use... I stick to aim at a target and use it. I stick to highlight them. Oh, I, see. I never knew you could do that with the right stick, huh? You may have one power selected for each. Oh, shit. Um, let's see. Uh, throw. By mapping throw, that means we can actually use a uh, quick button with it. We can always go to the menu and access it that way. Yeah. Okay, right bump, or uh, right, yeah, right bumper is what does that. Okay, let's put the gun away. Joker! The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Okie dokie. Hello, Caden. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Probably not. Alrighty. I told you, I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. Inspectors are always on a mission. And 
We're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Yeah. Hello. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh, I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Hmm. Uh, what do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. What about these stealth systems? What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Shit, damn son of a bitch. Give me a second. I can't even keep a window open. And why does everybody in fucking redneck country have to have a fucking diesel vehicle? Uh, okay, okay. Um, what's the captain? Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. Impressive. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Really? What about the Tory Inspector? You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Uh, that was a long time ago, though. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. Damn those Turians. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Hey, I think something's in my ceiling. All right. I grew up on East Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. Oh? That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins! What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Relax, Jenkins. Damn it. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Mm, you'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Oh, you need to calm down. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Mm, enough out of you. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Hello, oh, Dr. Yes, Chocolate. Commander, is there something you need? Uh, what do you think of Nihilus? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. 
I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. And then, and then he did this, and... The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah. None of this nonsense. I have the captain to meet. Or just Nihilus. Hello. Let's fight. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. How about we dance instead? Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. Oh. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Mm, beyond beautiful. I mean, it's called Eden for a reason. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. <coughs> yes. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Yeah. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Excuse me, sir, but what are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. For a low rate, we can protect is you. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Hello. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Uh, I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Really? Uh, why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. I need to know. A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What the fuck is Prothean stuff? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. What a nice Their number. legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. All right. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Nifty. But I don't like sharing. Why didn't we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Say that to my gun! Sharing I mean... the beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. So? The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Right. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Um... Should... Wait. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Hmm. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. Those Batarians got so pwned. I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Uh, you put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Mm, you support this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Really? Well, uh, uh... I'm ready to go! Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Ah. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Oh, how bad could this possibly be? Okay, they're shooting something. Get down. Okay. Can you hold the damn camera still, sir? What is this, a cell phone camera? Heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get even. 
back. They came out of nowhere. We they came from behind. Why'd you stop shooting? What the hell is that? The the everything comes out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. They're dead, sir. Is it? He's like, oh. Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Sounds like Star Trek. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. The hell is that? Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Mm -hmm. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Jenkins? Oh, Jenkins!